Hi there Pisces, welcome to your second May reading. We're gonna be doing a love reading today, looking into your situation with your person. We're gonna look into um, messages from your person, uh, see what your situation was. And then in the extended, we're gonna look into uh, most likely outcome, your person's energy as of now, and see where everything's gonna go for you, okay? If you wanna access the extended at the end of the reading, you can do th so through my Patreon, which is a membership um, deal, or you can do it through a one-time payment through my PayPal. I have everything written out in the description box, okay? Right now, when you sign up on Patreon, you're gonna get put in a drawing for a free 40-minute reading. Um, so this is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If it doesn't resonate for you, check your other placements, watch previous Pisces readings, um, or you can book a personal reading with me. There's all of my information in the description box. Okay, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, uh, comment below, oh, and turn on your notifications. All right, so let's look into your person's, well, their, initially their energy and what they wanna say to you. Okay, so we have, I will be back soon, or I will be back. Um, I know we will be together someday. I have many regrets with us. We have Twin Flame. If I can get it undone, Twin Flame. Oh, wow. And then we have Twin Flame again. <laughs> I think I only have two Twin Flames like in my little deck that I made. Um, and there's probably over, there's probably over a hundred things in here. So Twin Flame came out again. We have Marriage. Okay, so you guys could be married or have been married in the past. Looks like you guys were, are separated at the moment because it's, I know we will be together someday and I will be back. This person has many regrets with this um, relationship. We have the lover's card, Gemini en uh, energy. So another soulmate card coming out, Aries. So we could be dealing with an Aries. We have the color orange, which is the um sacral chakra it's like the chakra where of intimacy um it could also be your favorite color or uh, just a significant color to you and your person for whatever reason and then we have turtle so turtle could represent anything it could represent you have a pet or it could represent the the um you know how everything is going really slow or it could be your spirit animal or you know, turtle can represent anything. It's just kind of a little marker to um, say, yeah, this is my story. If turtle doesn't mean anything to you, then don't worry about it. It can still be your story, but that's just like an extra little marker there for you, okay? So let's get some overall energy here. I do feel like this is a twin flame connection. There's a lot of cards here about oneness and intimacy and soulmate and the twin flame. This person knows that they're gonna be back, um, but they, for whatever reason, they have a lot of regrets when it comes to this uh, relationship, okay? And many of you definitely could have been married to this person. Maybe you're in a separation. Yep, by the book, marriage. Okay, so this is my card for being married. It's about um, traditions. It can be about having children together. The other thing is that this person could have been married when you met them. Um, what was the reading I just did? I think it was like Aries or no Aquarius. So if you're dealing with an Aquarius, uh, they had a similar storyline where um, it's a possibility that the person that when you met them, they were married, um, but they want to come back. In this case, I feel like you are married to this person, okay? But take it how it resonates. Marriage is just a part of this storyline. So however that resonates for you, but definitely could have children with them, definitely could have been married to them, um, or they could have been married when you met them. Okay, you could be from different cultures, traditions, um, spiritualities, and all of that 
stuff, okay? Building blocks in the reverse. So things, you couldn't build a foundation with this person, um, or you tried to, and it, and I feel like most people here are, are married in this situation. You tried to build a firm foundation with this person, but you couldn't at a certain point. It just started coming apart and falling apart. We have the yin in the reverse, which is the divine feminine energy. We have thinker in the reverse, which can talk about being very fearful, um, you know, not using logic, but having a lot of like really fearful thoughts and um, overthinking, okay? Any other cards for Pisces, please? Okay, we have loyal heart in the reverse. All right, so that is, that is where these regrets could have come from, okay? Because somebody wasn't loyal or somebody was dishonest. If you hear, you know, music in the background, my son's in the other room watching a show. Um, but yeah, somebody was dishonest. Somebody wasn't loyal. Somebody, I believe, I mean, this card to me is that somebody was unfaithful. Somebody cheated on the other person. Um, so I feel like for the most people watching this, the story here is that you were married to this person or had a long-term commitment with this person, possibly kids. This person was unfaithful, okay? Um, if you're a cross watcher, which means that you're watching because you're connected to a Pisces, then it's possible that the Pisces was, uh, unfaithful to you. Okay. So if you're a crotch, wa crotch watcher, <laughs> I know a tarot card reader who calls it crotch watching. Um, she's the, uh, real housewife of tarot. If you ever get a chance to check her out, she's incredible. Okay. So anyways, something, um, came crashing down though in this relationship. I feel like somebody was unfaithful and the foundation of this relationship was rocked. And uh, yeah, oh, that's what I was saying though. But if you are a cross watcher, which means you're connected to a Pisces, the roles will, could very much be reversed in this situation, okay? Meaning that your Pisces could have been the one to do all of that. So yeah, I definitely feel like this person is very um, scared and fearful when it comes to this connection. They have a lot of anxiety when it comes to this connection. Okay, you could be dealing with, um, I could be talking more to the feminine, divine feminine in this situation as well. So let's get some Moonology cards. Okay, we have your hard work is paying off, new moon in Capricorn. Okay, so you can be connected to a Capricorn or have Capricorn in your chart. There's something you're doing that you're working towards, you're working hard on it. Um, and whatever that is, your hard work's about to pay off, okay? You could have a business, uh, be entrepreneur, you could be working really hard at your career, um, but something's about to pay off and you're about to move forward. Um, when this, I'm, the other thing I'm getting is that when this all happened, you were working hard towards something. You were working hard towards some type of goal or growing a business. And this all kind of happened when, during that time. But I feel like, you know, as long as you just keep going, that hard work's going to pay off. Okay. Maybe you struggled to keep going because of all of this happening to you. These are very spe specific storylines, especially you and Aquarius. Very specific storylines. I'm not sure how many people it's going to resonate for, but... Okay, any other cards for Pisces, please? Have faith in your dreams. Your commitment is being tested. Wow. Okay, so have faith in your dreams and your commitment is being tested. So this card to me is kind of like the idea of what happened here. Their commitment was tested. And they failed, you know, they weren't loyal and they weren't honest uh, and they were deceptive. That is the regrets I feel like they have with you. If it wasn't that, maybe they were just dishonest about something else. Maybe they, it's not that they cheated, but they were dishonest about something, okay? But you're, I feel like you're being called to have faith in your dreams and know that the hard work that you're doing is paying off. Whatever you're putting your heart and soul into right now, something's about to um, something's about to take off for you. Oh, where did it go? 
Oh, it's all the way over there. Sorry, excuse me. <laughs> okay, we have show the world the real you, full moon in Aquarius. So you could be dealing with an Aquarius, all right? Show the world the real you, I feel like, is putting yourself out there. Um, don't be afraid to be yourself. Don't be afraid to let people see the amazing things that you're doing. I feel like the Pisces people that I'm talking to right now are doing some pretty amazing things with their life. Um, they are working hard towards some type of big goal and that's about to pay off. We also have new moon and cancer. Your loved, you and your loved ones are safe. Okay, so just know like if you have kids in this situation um, or you're... Uh, separated from your person and you haven't talked or something uh, I feel like this is kind of just a card of especially with the kids if there's kids involved here just know that your kids are are safe that people are um, their hearts are going to be taken care of in this situation if you worry maybe you worry about them in regards to the situation you're like I I'm I don't know how they're affected and it worries you um, I think it's spirit's way of saying that you're your kids are protected, okay, and safe. All right, let's get to the tarot here and see what's going on. High Priestess, okay. So I feel like, I think that's Pisces energy. I'm still learning, but um, like I've learned tarot, but as far as like the signs and planets and stuff that go with all the cards, I'm still learning that. Anyways, high priestess, I feel like that's you, okay? I feel like I'm talking to very spiritually uh, gifted people. Um, you could even have a spiritually driven, like, based, or a spirit, spiritually based business. Um, and I feel like you're just highly intuitive, a very spiritual person. I feel like I'm connecting to really spiritual Pisces people, which you guys tend to be very spiritual or connected intuitively and all of that. Even if you are not spiritual, I know some Pisces people who I don't, they wouldn't consider themselves spiritual, but there's always, they have this inner knowing and this intuition thing going on, okay? Um, I, know, I know a Pisces child She's like 13 now, but at, when she was little, little, she um, could see ghosts. Like she talked to, you know, people in the other realm and she just would tell, tell her mom that all the time and it freaked her mom out, but she didn't seem bothered by it, you know, but she was, she's very connected, you know? So Pisces people, that's what you're, what you are. Ten of Wands, Seven of Swords. So I feel like... <laughs> Um, the seven of swords is your person sneaking around, okay, being deceptive, uh, lying to you, not telling you the truth, and kind of running away from the truth. Um, and that is a huge, that was a huge burden on your back, okay? That's part of the baggage that you carry around is this person's deception towards you. Something happened and uh, it definitely was a very stressful event. Okay, your person really was dishonest in some way. And with the High Priestess, I think that you knew it. The High Priestess can also talk about things hidden because she doesn't, she doesn't reveal everything to everybody. Um, so it can talk about things hidden. So with the Seven of Swords here, I feel like, I feel like the High Priestess is you, but I also feel like it's their deceptive behavior or their lies and them keeping things hidden from you for a while, okay? But that was a huge burden on your back. But the thing about the Ten of Wands is that it's the end of a chapter, you know? So I feel like you're coming to the end of some kind of painful and stressful chapter and you're, you're ready to move on. What else is going on with this situation? So yeah, we're just kind of looking into the past here. So we have Ace of Swords in the reverse. So this is, uh, the Ace of Swords is about truth and it's in the reverse. So that there is a lack of truth here. I spent, like High Priestess, Seven of Swords, Ace of Swords in reverse. This is a lot of dishonesty. This is a lot of, la a, a huge lack of honesty and a lack of trust um, or trustworthy behavior between you and this person. 
it's just card after card after card that's just kind of indicating um, this dishonesty here. Yeah, death and knight of cups. You, I feel like, I think you, I, for most of you, I feel like you put an end to this situation with this person, okay? Um, you no longer accepted their love into your life. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay, so yeah, I feel like there's a point, there was a point here where you ended things, all right? And you said no more. Not, not going to be... Um, for some of you, I feel like you were messing messing with, I feel like you were with somebody who was just kind of a liar and cheater and just somebody who kind of messed with you a lot. Like um, when it comes to truth, they weren't open and honest with who they were and what they did. And I kind of feel like they were really good at like romanticizing you or sweet talking you or buying you flowers or buying you gifts or you know just doing that whole like sweet talk romantic thing to kind of win you over again if things ever got rocky between you and i feel like at a certain point you just were like not happening anymore okay i'm putting an end to this and i think you finally ended up just putting an end to it completely okay we have the nine of pentacles so i feel like there you are um, single and abundant, you know, independent and finding your own happiness as an independent single person. I think that you're becoming very abundant as well. And you have like full capability of, um, being abundant on your own without this person. You have found out how to do that six of cups in reverse. So this could, I mean, usually I read that card as like being stuck in the past. Um, so tell me about the six of cups. Okay, you could be struggling here. I feel like your person is, is kind of stuck in the past. They're not able to get through this uh, or past this. And I feel like they're still stuck on you. I mean, they're saying they'll be back. Okay. Um, tell me more about the Six of Cups. All right. Queen of Wands in reverse. Yeah. Three of Swords. Two of Cups in reverse. King of Wands in reverse. Wow. Okay, we have the Queen and King of Wands in reverse um, with the Two of Cups and the Three of Swords. This is a heartbreak. This is a soulmate couple, okay? King and Queens of Wands in reverse. This is a soulmate couple. You know, the King of Wands or the Queen of Wands, like especially the King of Wands in reverse can talk about somebody who's unfaithful um, and, you know, a cheater, a player, that kind of thing. In the reverse, this is a soulmate pair that fell apart, okay? Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. You could have uh, those in your chart or you could be dealing with the Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. But we have the Three of Swords with the Two of Cups in reverse. This is a devastating loss and a very painful heartbreak and a very painful ending of two people who at one point felt destined for each other. Um, and I think maybe still do in a certain sense, but I see you focused on your money, focused on your growth and focused on yourself and your independence right now. So I don't know if you, um, I feel like there is still some nostalgia, okay, from the past, but I feel like you are more focused on yourself right now and letting go of the baggage and the burdens of this relationship Okay, so um, I'm going to move into the extended and we're going to look into your person's energy as of now, what your advice is in this situation, what the most likely outcome is going to be for you guys, um, pull some love oracle cards and all of that. Okay, so if you want to join me in the extended, like I said, there's a one time uh, through PayPal or there's the Patreon. Right now, when you sign up on Patreon, you get put into a drawing for a free 40 minute reading. Okay, so hope to see you guys there and I will talk to you later. Bye Pisces. This is a new opportunity coming towards you. This could be a very brand new opportunity coming towards you. For some of you, this is a new opportunity in your stability, in your finances. Um, this is the universe handing you some of, of like an abundance, okay, of something. 
it's it's the start of something it's the seed planted but it is a gift from the universe all right tell me more about this ace of pentacles spirit oh look at that nine of pentacles again yes this this is huge because i feel like pisces you are going to be in a place where you're full of abundance financially um very secure okay like I, I feel like you're very much in a very you're about to be if you're not in a secure place right now financially you're about to be okay you're in you're in a place where you're independent learning your own way through the world and i feel like you're doing really well for yourself or will be doing very well for yourself in the near future okay there we go oh yeah four of wands